Wolverine and Deadpool is top tier superhero stuff, but not every superhero movie is like that. Lately, superhero movies have been on the decline. Sometimes it's the hero, sometimes it's the story, and sometimes it's just all of it. This is making it harder to tell which superhero movie will work and which one will flop. But you know which hero always delivers? The Batman. And in this video, I'm going to break down why that's true. There has never been a critical and financial miss of this character. Ever since Adam West donned the cowl, Batman has been a pop culture icon that has seen success in literally every single market and hasn't stopped. There has never been a time when Batman wasn't successful. Even the movies that people say they hate, like Batman Forever and Batman and Robin, all made a profit. So what makes Batman different? Why is Batman the most bankable superhero when every other major hero has had at least a stumble or in some cases, a major misfire. I ask you to put your mechanized paws in the air. Never! I have three reasons. First, Batman is a deeper character. Let's start with the obvious. Batman has a reason for being a hero. When those pearls fall in front of the theater or behind the opera or, well, you pretty much get my point. We see it happen all the time. But when his parents die in that alley, immediately our heart goes out to this little aristocrat. We begin to root for him and understand why he would become this caped crusader, this vigilante. Sure, other characters have their reasons as well, but other than Spider-Man, Batman has the deepest backstory, a mythology that everyone can understand. He's not a hero from a distant planet. He's not a war hero from a distant time. He's a man in the now who is still reeling from the loss of his parents years before. I know I made a promise, but I didn't see this coming. I didn't count on being happy. That's relatable. Beyond the backstory, Batman is an interesting character because even though he is the Dark Knight, he's also a true optimist. He doesn't kill. In most adaptations, he hates guns. He values life, even though he's seen the darkest. And some of his villains are some of the darkest characters in all of comics, and yet he still values life. That is a true optimist. So even when the most vile, wicked villain murders without remorse, Batman will take him into custody every single time. You'll be in a better jail forever. Why? Because he believes life is precious. And because while Gotham certainly has its own unique ways of getting around to it, Batman believes in the system. He believes in justice. He is an agent of justice. This dichotomy of darkness and optimism creates conflict within Batman. He's constantly at war with himself and the city he calls home. Let your devotion to justice temper your rage. He took your parents, ruined your life, fulfill your destiny, become what you have trained to be, an agent of vengeance. That's pretty deep. Secondly, Batman is more pliable than other heroes. Even though Christian Bale can't move his head in Batman Begins, that doesn't mean Batman can't change his ways if he needs to. Batman has been played differently so many times. Again, go back to the goofy 60s and see Adam West's zany take on the character. Sure, it's of its times, but it still holds up. It's still Batman. Please, it's Batman! Fast forward to 1989 and this dark, grim take on Batman works too. Heck, even the Batman credit card doesn't feel so out of place. Never leave the cave without it. Because Batman is more flexible than Elastigirl. He's more flexible than any superhero. You can literally put him in any time period and he'll work. Throw him in the past and it still works because that's Sherlock Holmes. Take Batman to the future and well, we know how that works really really well warner brothers come on give us the batman beyond movie okay just do it just do it make your dreams come true just do it time doesn't matter for batman tone doesn't even stop him like michael giacchino's unrelenting score in the batman this character will plow through anything because at his core batman is a detective 
He is Sherlock Holmes, tracking down monsters and villains, figuring out their strategies, and inventing creative ways to catch them. That is something so simple that it could be applied to almost any story. As much as I love Superman, Spider-Man, or Captain America, they all have more requirements on stories in order for them to work as characters. Batman just doesn't. It's why a kid's cartoon can become one of the most popular and successful adaptations of this beloved character. Third, Batman is just cooler. There's something about the Dark Knight that will always be cool. Maybe it's the dark costume, the cape and cowl with wide eyes, the way he lurks in the darkness ready to pounce on thieves and predators. Has anything the Flash ever been in look as rad as that? No. And Batman has literally thousands of images just like this. Then there's the gadgets. The Batmobile speaks to every boy who ever grew up wanting to drive a car someday. Superman doesn't have a car. Spider-Man has that weird one that nobody really likes, but everybody loves the Batmobile. Then there's the practical angle of how he can use these gadgets to accomplish superhero level things. Where does he get those wonderful toys? Yes, we've entered that part of the discussion where we talk about how he's so awesome and so cool because he's just a guy. He doesn't have super soldier serum flowing through his veins. He doesn't have a radiated sun giving him strength. He's just a guy with money, skills, and perseverance. Everyone thinks that's cool. And you don't outgrow that type of coolness. Little boys and girls love Batman just as much as grown men love Batman. He doesn't get lame. He doesn't become uncool. It's literally impossible. Just look at him. I'm vengeance. He's awesome. Everywhere he goes, he is awesome. Ask anyone whether this guy right here is awesome and they'll say yes. And that's why Batman will always succeed while other superheroes may fail. It doesn't matter what version of Batman they make, whether he's dark like Nolan's Batman or bright like Schumacher's Batman. It doesn't matter what story they do for Batman, whether it's a noir like the Batman or filled with humor like Ben Affleck's brief appearance in The Flash. It works. It works every single time because Batman works every single time. Batman will always succeed.